Hello and welcome. Playing another demo today. This one is Lumencraft. Let's uh, let's jump right in. See what we can, what we can expect. Entering map, and you can use your drill to demolish buildings you no longer need. Pre-alpha demo V3 2005. Oh, okay. Here's our here's our boy. Okay, I can I can move a, like a this. I can rotate. I can spin around like a top. I can uh, I can use my drill like this. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, what's over here? Look around and find 25 lumens to start the reactor. Is this a lumen? It is. Start the reactor. Sorry, I mean, it would have been, if I didn't get it out of my system, it would have been stuck in my head the whole time, okay? I like the, like, dust effect on the ground from where I've been, uh, extracting lumens, you know? All the lumens leave none behind. Can't hide from me, I see you in there. Huh. Are these like pulsing things leading me to more? Or no? Ew, what is that? Oh, I did get a lumen from that. The squishy noise I was not expecting. Ugh. Oh, I already have enough. I just realized. I'll finish, I'll finish digging up this one because I'm sure we're gonna need more. We'll dig up this one, then we'll go back. Southwest. Okay, we're going to the Southwest Cave. What's all this, though? Okay, movable barrel that explodes on impact. Dynamite. Mine. Okay, so this is all the stuff we can we can make. Bullets. Very strong revolver. Machine gun. Sure, let's, let's make this for now. I got it. Okay. But we probably still need bullets. Do this. What is this? What have I found? Metal scrap and a med pack. Very good.
We need 50 to upgrade it. Okay, now how do I use my gun, though? Is that it in the upper left? I don't think so. Oh, okay, I see. Drill is one, two is gun. I'll just have to remember that. I'm sure this path right here... Ooh, my drill don't like that. This is not the way. But I can get some lumens from this. Sure, let's get more lumens. What is with, like, the encroaching darkness, though? That's worse. I can't, like, break my drill. This is good. We're getting all kinds of metal scrap. And I guess this way we'll find out as well if we can just bypass whatever that challenge is down there and go straight for the cave. I, I really don't think it's going to let us do it. But I also am curious how far this way it's going to let us go. Something hides beneath the ground? We did it. Oh, fucking A, man. There's so many more. We came prepared, though. No, we didn't. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. Right, that went horribly. But now we know there's monsters over there. We did get a med kit though, right? Didn't we pick one up? See if there's anything else. Med. Good. We can just get ourselves healed here. 
They only went to 89. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the build menu is. Light. Defense. Gate, wall, stand. Offense. Sniper turret, machine gun turret. Light tower? Okay, what about workshop? Health center, weapon workshop, explosive workshop, lab. Okay, I think it was nice enough to give us all these things already. Because we're just in the demo. The, um... At least it gave us a lot, that's for sure. Increase reactor range. Okay, we don't have enough for that. Defense shockwave. Turn your lumens into a shockwave to defend your base. Use with caution. Repair kit. Repairs damaged buildings and structures. Okay, so we're obviously going to need to repair this place at some point. Okay, but I'm wondering... I'm wondering, right? How do we... Oh, god damn it. Oh, look at that! We got free metal scrap. <laughs> that was probably there from the beginning. I didn't even notice. I'm wondering how we get past that area down to the, uh, southwest. Maybe... Maybe we do explosive barrel? Or maybe we do dynamite. Right, because this is not practical. Okay, let's see. I gotta think of a... Uh... Plan. Okay, this is this is a. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe it means a different way to get down to the left. Because we could go out that gate. That's to the north, but I don't think the game wants us to go that way yet. It might, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Maybe it's in any, any means necessary to get to that cave at the bottom left, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a spot we can go to upgrade our drill. Right, that's always a possibility. I wonder how much farther it'll let me go this way. It's 
definitely not the way because you can see the map marker of where it wants me, me to go like in the west and it's right below below that area that uh that is impenetrable but we're getting plenty of uh of metal scrap doing this so why not This is leading to something. I don't know what, but it's leading to something. Oh, maybe it's leading to a dead end. <laughs> All right, we'll go back. We've got plenty. We'll buy a bunch of dynamite. Well, we'll buy one dynamite first. We'll, we'll test out, because maybe... You never know. Maybe one is stronger than the other. In terms of its application for this kind of thing. my way back and then I saw this alternate path and I thought you never know there could be a secret down here we don't know there could be another area infested with bugs which I wonder how we're meant to clear that out there's got to be a way but they seemed infinite you just kept shooting them But also, was it the bugs that we got that that stuff to, to upgrade the reactor from? I don't remember where we got those supplies from. This is so much metal. We have consumed so much metal. I can't help it. I'm just drawing an outline. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. I can't imagine we're gonna need this much metal for a while. Or who knows, maybe we'll spend it all on dynamite immediately. And it'll turn out we actually needed more. Okay. A dynamite. Okay. Something hides no Okay, let's see. 
D for workshop. Offense. Sniper turret, machine gun turret. Let's... We're gonna make a machine gun turret. Oh, okay, that guy's gonna come over and make it. Good. Make a sniper turret, but here we are. Why not? under attack where what the fuck oh we failed i had no idea they were going for the base like i i knew the it said base under attack but i thought they were going to come from that same area okay all right we're jumping back in God damn it, I'm gonna have to mine all that metal again. even go to the base. We might as well just get all this metal right now. We'll set up turrets around the base, especially around our main thing. And then we will be ready. I didn't think I would be back in, in here doing the same thing this soon. <laughs> it did not take long. So we got like a hundred. I'm trying to think about how we should distribute this. We probably can make do with the same amount that we had last time and be just fine. As long as I'm up there also to defend the base, it should be fine. We can have like a turret defending that area. One defending that entrance when I start placing the dynamite. And then if I'm actively going around defending the place at the same time, it should be fine. 
I hope it is. <laughs> Going back through and doing all of this drilling again. It would be quite unfortunate. Did we go this deep before? We might have. I don't think we did. This seems new to me. Seems like danger territory. <laughs> we'll, we'll come across one of those bug infestations again. I do like the aesthetic of this game, though. It is, uh... It's very nice. I, I'm wondering, it looks like it's all 2D. Like, just very well presented 2D, so, like, you can barely tell. Do a complete outline and we'll call it good. Hopefully the complete outline gives us the resources we need. I'm wondering if I should just get the if I should just get the machine gun. Alright, here's where we die. So we go in here, we get the lumens, and then all the bugs spawn and we die. But we found the secret thing down here. We didn't find this last time. Look at this. We still know what we're going to use lumens for besides starting just the main reactor. But I mean, they seem like a precious resource, right? It's in the name, so got to be used for something else. probably don't need all these lumens. I'm just gonna make a path back through. Easy exit point. In case this does indeed go bad. It's fine. This is the end of the road. All right, I think that's good for lumens. I don't. I don't think we need any more for now. We will remember this stash if we come back this way. If we need to come back this way. This is good. We're mapping out a whole a whole network over here, finding out exactly how much resources we have available to us. Which we do have quite a lot. Oh my god, next wave in 12 minutes. I didn't even see that. Oh my god. Oh my god, next wave in 12 minutes.
That was probably up there the entire time the first round that we did this and I didn't even see it. Like I noticed the countdown at the end, but it wasn't until like they we started doing the dynamite that I saw it was up there. So it's a good thing we started doing this. It's a race against the clock. It's exactly how much time we have to gather resources and prepare our defenses. And we're doing the resource gathering first. And my OCD of drawing this outline has, uh, enabled us to have far more resources this time around than we did the first time. All right. We've done it. Now let's get out here. Break through here. Start the reactor. Everything's illuminated. Yes, now we get our free metal. And then we get our gun. And our ammo. exactly where they came from, but we can't be too sure, so let's just place them around. Hopefully that's enough. Let's find a way to the cave. Let's get rid of this first. Okay. Okay, not so bad.
kill the big monster. I don't even think I cleared the path enough. No, I don't think I did. Damn it. Now I actually need to get more, more metal. Oh, there's that thing. I forgot about that thing. scrap metal. Or was it 90? It was 50 for the turrets, right? So that's not necessarily the dynamite. Yeah, 90. Okay. Repair kit. Range. Is this lumens? Increase reactor range. Bam. Oh, jeez. It does worry me though that it the objective is just kill the big monster. It's like, oh, that's uh um, potentially very hazardous. Maybe I should have Maybe I should have landmines or something if I'm going to fight a big monster. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from a big monster except for maybe death. Treating. Why? Because we don't have that much time left before the wave, and I don't want to be out of ammo when it hits. Den was right on the other side. Okay, let's run back and get ammo.
little bit of a heal. Arriving soon. Thirty seconds. I just gotta keep an eye on my mini-map this time. I'm sure it was showing them wrecking the place. Five minutes. Okay, where are they? Oh, they're coming right for the door. The turret can shoot past the door. Wow. But now we know. Now we know it's the door that we have to defend. Okay, build, defense, gate. We need a hundred for a gate. Okay, no time to waste. We're going back into the, um, into this area. We need to kill that monster. health it has, but I'm hoping. Is this doing nothing to it? Are these doing zero damage? These are doing zero. No, wait. No, they're not. He's at like half health, isn't he? Or no, he's no, he's not. What was I supposed to do? This sucks! He's gonna destroy the base! Like, this is literally such a waste. We are so fucked. He's just gonna destroy everything.
Come this way, buddy. You're gonna... You're gonna mine for me. My idea pays off here. Not going to immediately because I have to go back and fight those goddamn bugs. Actually out of ammo. Oh my god, I wasted it all on that guy. Damn it. But now we know. Now we know he is the way to mine that area. He is the true efficient way. So we should not aggro him. Oh, it has me wondering. Should I aggro him right off the bat and have him come uh, clear the area? And then double back and, and make uh, mines and just kill him that way? But then it's risky, because he's still going to come after me. He's going to come towards the base, right? You know what? Let's dig this way. We'll build up the base later. We're going to go get the lumens down here. So I wonder how much the turrets actually help there. So I'm really not sure how much they did, to be honest. So we're not going to do a full outline this time. We're just going to follow the outline. We're gonna follow the outline until we get to the lumens, then we're gonna use the lumens 
to start the reactor then we're i'm thinking i don't know we'll see how many how much metal we have by then we might not build any turrets this time around because i mean in the end they were useless they sure didn't help against the main the main target that that giant monster But yes, I do think that using him to clear this area should be the primary way of dealing with him, but like at the same time, like, well, not dealing with him, but like utilizing him because he like, you can get so many resources so fast. He can clear this so much faster than we can with a drill, but at the same time, mm, at the same time, he can, uh, while we're waiting to, like, if we, if we use him for this, we have to be able to kill him right after he's done excavating it. You know what I mean? So we, we could use him to excavate it, but we should only do it if we have enough. Enough, like, uh, mines and that kind of thing to kill him. Because we need to be able to kill him before he comes back. Because if he comes back, he'll just wipe out our base. Also those the base last resort measures that we haven't messed around with at all it did say use with caution so I don't know how detrimental that's going to be if we do choose to use it it might be really bad I'm wondering I'm also wondering if these waves are forever like this first one is 15 and then the second one is five minutes after that is it going to be five minutes every time because that would be a nightmare Very well might be. Also wondering if we pick the revolver and we upgrade it can we upgrade it enough to where it actually does damage to him I'm thinking about just getting rid of the machine gun the machine gun did not work so good like it was fast but it I mean it wasn't that much faster than if I just spam click the, uh, the revolver anyways Maybe I should have both. One for the mobs and one for the big boys, you know? <laughs> like, if you're fighting one target, the revolver's probably better. But when, for the, when those mobs are at the gate, maybe it's better to have the, uh, the machine gun. We will see. We will see how this goes. Alright, 
gonna gather up those lumens. So unfortunate that the uh, that the dynamite costs so much because the dynamite would definitely help us clear this stuff out too. But it would just wouldn't. Uh, we would not recoup our losses. It would be a waste. make me think though about the practicality of using explosives on the uh, on the bugs at the gate though it probably would work but I don't think like it would be risky because you wouldn't want to blow up your own stuff but at the same time I don't think we could do it because we need those explosives we, we like we are on a time limit because this is gonna, you know, go down from 15 minutes to five. And at that point, we won't be able to gather enough resources for it to be sustainable. And, uh, and we need those resources to, um, to kill the big guy. Regardless, now that I think about it, we should leave. We should at least have a hundred metal scrap to spare. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking. About, I'm thinking about this the rational way. Okay. So we should not rush. We should not rush fighting the big guy. Maybe we build up the base. And, and every round, what we're doing is we're just hoarding explosives. Like, we build up the base, we save 100 so that we can rebuild the gate every time. We keep building up, building up, building up, upgrading our, our equipment and everything. Excavating everything else that's around that is not his cave. And then, once everything else is excavated that we can use... Then we go into his cave and kill him. That might be the most efficient way of doing it. But yes, I know that that will be a lot of drilling, but, but that's what the game is. This drill simulator. Yes, I will clear out as much as I can this time round because... that's the goal, us clearing everything out, then we are gonna do it sooner or later. Judging by how things went, we're gonna need it. what we can build for now. And then we'll 
will come back and we will gather more. Okay, start this thing up. <laughs> They're so cruel to put that as the next objective. Find a way to the cave. Don't worry about the fact you won't be able to kill him and he's gonna destroy everything you built. That's what those are? Allows me to shoot from above. So I can go up here and shoot down there. I understand. we go. We already have them upgraded to the max. See if that's enough. <laughs> Inventory full shit. I guess I do have a lot of ammo. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. as much more metal as we can for now. We have over a hundred, so that was the target that we needed or that we wanted. That's good. know maybe our defenses will actually be good enough second counts we got to keep mining all right now we will run for it now let's see how our turrets actually fare was the unforeseen problem with 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 um the unforeseen problem with making so much ammo inventory capacity which can I see my inventory yes it's just a lot of ammo We will hoard our materials for now. Is this my lumens in there? It is. The lumens are in there. Let's just hope the dynamite doesn't despawn, because that would be such a waste of resources. And instead, we're going to build up our metal reserves for now. Should look around, make sure there wasn't an option to um to upgrade the drill. Because if there was, that definitely would come in handy. And who 
knows, maybe our guns are powerful enough to damage the giant now. I don't want to risk it considering how bad it went last time, but it would be nice if that was the case. Definitely start heading that way. That's it, that's fine. Tab. I still have not used enough. But we will go back. <laughs> now I know the drawbacks of actually having two guns. is a little bigger now. So realistically, what I'll have to do is I make four things of dynamite, right? I make four things of dynamite, That'll take up my inventory space. Use them. Then I have to I have to replace those with mines. And the mines are what we will use to take out the big guy. But this is good, me not being able to access the dynamite right away, because we just don't have the inventory space for it is going to make it so that we do it pretty much in all all in one fell swoop. I'm curious what the game is going to have us do after we kill that guy. Because, I mean, I'm definitely confident that we're going to do it this time. He was pretty slow. We were able to get around him pretty easy. So he should be... He's going to die, for sure. That's if... Like, we've got the Magnum now as well. Like, it might be Resident Evil 4 rules where, like, he's El Gigante and we've got the Magnum and we can just wreck him now.
don't mind me i'm just like drilling in a grid you know just keeping it keeping it fresh not just doing the same pattern over and over again keeping it interesting a little and making it so it's easier to navigate around here We've got time. It says soon, but we've got time. It only takes us about 30 seconds to get over there. A little less, actually, I think. repair kit work Does it, did it put a repair kit in my okay it did was that it We gotta go. One thing I did not calculate for is the, the waves getting worse and worse.
10 mines. I made 10. How many of these can we pick up? <laughs> That's a lot of mines, actually. Let's see if we can clear out some enemies down here before the wave. Treat first. Hmm, what's that exclamation point out there? That definitely has me curious. My god, they almost chewed their way through. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, four is the mines, I gotta remember that. set off the majority of the mines. Well, we can just do something else instead with them.
Though some of those might be too close to for comfort, to be honest. How do I F to drop item? Okay. bullets let's go down here and use a few Demo completed. You can freely explore the map. But another wave is coming. And we're all gonna die. Okay, sure. How about this? We'll pick up all of our mines and and all that. At least we finished the demo. We'll go out and we'll explore. And we'll drop a bunch of mines. It's like a light on the wall.
Okay, plenty of lumens. We're back here. Okay, let's see. I think that's half of the map. Let's see what else is around on the other half. Field. I don't know if I can activate these or not. Uh, I think I walked on that one, so I think I cannot. huh? Wow, we could have used that on the big boy the whole time. That's interesting. the rocket how do I use the rocket <laughs> there <laughs> we made it to the end of the demo though clear bonus plus 25% yay Oh, wow. Did we crack a thousand? We did. A little over a hundred. Over a thousand. Oh, God. We did collect a lot of scrap. Oh, look at that. Not too shabby. But all right. If you like this game, check it out. I think it's pretty neat, but all right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.